Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I'm about to protect the wheels on the Lambo here, so I can use this opportunity to introduce you to the newest member of Blue Collar 6. Blue Collar 6 is a track grade wheel coating, a high temp wheel coating, uh, a concentrated wheel coating that should last longer than others out there on the market, can protect up to 900 degrees and higher. Great for track vehicles, utility, heavier vehicles, exhaust tips, motorcycle engines. I think you get the idea of what this is formulated for. Today, I'm going to do a wheels off here with the Lambo. We're going to get it up in the air, pull the wheels, and get to protect the back of the spokes, the barrel of the wheels, every square inch. You don't have to. On your own car, you don't have to lift it. Uh, you can just do the face of the wheel if you'd like. Just be safe no matter what you do. We're going to get the wheel up on our handy dandy wheel stand and break out Phoenix EOD's latest version of Fury's version 2, I believe. More ferrous metal removing capabilities turns a darker uh, maroon color and also uh, eased up on the odor. Uh, normally the wheel cleaners smell like burnt hair shoved under a huge pile of used band-aids. But this one here, as I take a deep whiff, I don't even know why I did that. I've lost my sense of smell long ago, but... I didn't pass out, so I guess that's a good thing. Spray a generous layer of the wheel cleaner on the surface. Let it dwell for 60 seconds or so. You'll see it change immediately to a dark red color as it uh, changes the composition of the ferrous metal. That's an exothermic chemical reaction. When you let it dwell a little bit, then it's time to come in with your soft detailing brush. Ag Agitate a bit. If you're doing this outside and you can rinse with a pressure washer, that's fine. I'm inside. I will use a rinseless wash to flush and neutralize the product and then just wipe it free. These wheels are new, so it's not going to take long to get them prepped for the coating. If you are aiming to protect a wheel that's been on the car for quite some time, it's going to take a deeper clean. So that may take a little bit longer and some different tools to agitate. Uh, the furries, uh, I mean furies from Phoenix EOD. Furries is a different subject. We'll avoid that one. Um, needs to sit on the surface of the wheel for about 30 to 60 seconds. And even if you have a wheel that's hammered and coated with ferrous metals, it does a fantastic job. I'll have a link down below along with the link for the wheel coating. I'm now just using the rinseless wash to sort of rinse and neutralize the product, the wheel cleaner. And then I will flip it around. The reason I took the wheels off to begin with, so I can get the barrel of the wheel properly and the back of the spokes. So give me a few minutes so we can get through this prep process. Uh, again, after using Furies, we're going to uh, flush it with the rinseless wash and then follow up with the panel prep to make sure there's no residue whatsoever on the wheel. The wheel is clean and naked, so to speak, and we can get the coating in and give it the best uh, possible bond.
With the wheel contaminant free once again, we're going to grab our favorite panel prep or make your own with isopropyl alcohol and spray down the area and make sure there's no residue whatsoever left behind from all of the cleaners. We are now finally ready for Blue Collar 6, our track grade wheel coating. And we're going to get it on there with an applicator. You can use a uh, foam block. You can use just a micro suede sheet like I'm doing here. I'll wrap it around my finger and get it in every square inch of the wheel that I can. If you have wheels that have the intricate wheel designs, it may be a good idea to do two layers to make sure you have even coverage. If you're comfortable with coatings, familiar with them, one thick layer will do you just fine. You can put it on the entire face of the wheel and then wipe it off, flip it over, repeat that process for the barrel of the wheel, the back of the spokes, and then wipe it off and you're ready to go. No need to rush, even though it is a thicker, viscous wheel coating. It's still user-friendly, easy to get on there, and just as easy to wipe off. Not only will the wheel be protected from hard use if I decide to take her on the track in the infield of Pocono or maybe uh, on track in New Jersey or Virginia, not only will it be protected, but it will have uh, a great look on these bronze finished Rohanas. Flip her on over, get the back of the spokes, the barrel of the wheel. Protect it from lip to lip. I'm often asked when it is the best time to protect a wheel, and I'll wait until everything is mounted and balanced, and I'll clean it up from there, get all the fingerprints and uh, all the lubricants off of there, but at least the wheel weights are on there, and they're on there to stay. If you are thinking of a second layer, two hours in between layers, and it is layerable. As many layers as you want, unlike BC1 and BC2, it will not start to reject itself right away, and that protection will pile up. Maybe a good idea for those that track the car often. Don't forget the calipers or anything in and amongst the wheel well that you want to protect. That really goes through uh, harsh environments with heat, you can include your exhaust tips, 
if you have a motorcycle, uh, motorcycle exhaust, the engine, uh, anything in the engine compartment can be coated with this product and it will hold up. You can see the mess that has dripped onto the floor. That's some of the ferrous metal that's been broken down uh, during the chemical reaction from Fury. Even in this area, I will follow up with a panel prep before I start the coat with the blue collar six. Take your time, get a nice thick layer on whatever you want to protect under there, and you get the wheel back on. We can walk around and enjoy the results from our hard work. Our wheel is protected, looking fantastic. Hydrophobic properties, beading properties, slickness, it's all there with the wheel coating. Before we end the video, we're going to go outside for a quick bonus, and that's going to be our commercial vehicle, our gopher, and go-to truck. And it has some weight to it. The brake system spikes when it comes to temperatures. We have it on the new wheels on there, and we've been testing from the beginning with this coating. Still on there and still 100%. Makes the wheels super easy to clean. You'll get through that process quickly so you could spend more time enjoying your vehicle than working on it. The coating also makes it super easy to dry, especially with forced air, a leaf blower. You'll be around the car in a few minutes. Once again, not only just four wheels for the calibers, exhaust tips, exhaust, motorcycle, motorcycle exhaust, motorcycle engines, any area or hard material that is affected by heat.